life on earth is about the cell. It's not so much about us. Mm -hmm. right. We are just one thing that the cell can do. And I don't think that we realize the entire potential of the cell. No. We, we typically think about the cell as a part of us, right? It's a building block of us. But, uh, you know, every cell in your body is an instance of the first cell. The first cell never died. Every cell in your organism split off from that first cell. It's an instantiation of that principle. And everything that lives on this planet, as far as we know, is still an instance of the first cell. It just has differentiated by evolution and is uh, building complexity to fill all the niches. And we are just a small episode in that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? This, so the cell is the actual hyperorganism that is populating Earth. So and it's the big hoopers that we category. think we are more important. At the moment, yes. I think, uh, with respect to life. And now the question is, is the cell the optimal computronium? It's probably the most robust one. It's very hard to imagine something that is smaller than the cell and there's a Turing machine in, built into it and a self-replicator and it's stable and able to adapt to a very wide range of circumstances by itself. Right? This, the cell is the only thing that can do this. And you cannot probably make this much smaller, so it's very difficult to imagine a molecular structure that can do what the cell is doing. And... Uh, Uh, will still function in the same degree of robustness. Interesting oh, yes. question would be, could uh, you evolve a cellular structure into something that uh, forms rockets and goes to the stars and populates other planets? And the solution is probably us in some sense, right? This is the way that cells self-organize to make that happen, if it happens. Yeah, I guess that, that sort of assumes some sort of teleological stance to the way it's happening. It's not necessary. It is an emergent phenomenon. Yeah. It uh, just happens by the evolutionary drivers because there is going to be a niche that uh, makes it possible to get to the next stage in uh, uh, harnessing more of the uh, available complexity. So basically, com the, comp uh, the purpose of, of control is to harness complexity, to uh, shift the order further into, uh, to build bridges into what otherwise would be chaos. So mm -hmm. you can live in there, that you can harvest chemical reactions and the and like entropy gradients in domains where dumb chemical reactions cannot. Mm. And that is what intelligence is doing. And now the question is, if you build something that is completely remote from biological cells, basically build an AI that is only using constructed artifacts that are macroscopically constructed, not built uh, from self-similar components as organisms. Mm. Uh, could this outcompete cells? And it's an open question to me. It's a very interesting question.